Hey guys, it's Chris here, and every year I review a bunch of stuff, and today we're going to look at three things that caught my eye this year and was really good before the year ends. Number one is this Firecore LED light stick. This is the top one of the bunch. I showed the best, the first. It's an LED light stick. It takes three AAA, hmm, three AA batteries. You only need this when you actually need it. You put this in your linen, or this is where I put it. I put it in my cabinet, and anytime there's motion, this thing, the sensor here, will see motion and turn on. There's a constant on feature, which is, so this one's motion, if you see. Come on, man. There's a magnetic mount right there, which works really nice. And you can rotate it, and it'll stay like that. Pretty awesome, guys. You just take it off the mount, and you can flash anywhere you need it. And if it's in a cabinet, and the cabinet's really dark, this thing got your back. All these items are in different price ranges. I just took the best three I saw. I came up with three. It was really awesome. That this year, what I reviewed, and these were the three that made it to the list. Let me know if you guys like this video, uh, if you want to see something like this again next year. And number two is this mouse mat yeah yeah all right so the pros about this mouse mat cheap as fuck no tramp stamp a lot of mouse mats on amazon they all have their own lo someone's logo on the mouse pa pad mat and this one's extra large really long and the main feature easy to clean all i do is take a white cloth and i just wipe it down i did have let me show you one with a tramp stamp that was cheaper than this one, but no tramp stamp. There's a tramp stamp right here. This one's pretty dirty. I haven't been using it, but it is thin. This one is much thicker, and it's sometimes fun to play with and press your fingers into it. And having a thicker mouse mat is better for the overall comfort of your hand on it and typing on it like so. So this one's a pretty thin one. All these products will be linked in the description below. And... Next up, last but not least, the most recent purchase, the Bose QC35s. For $350, they are worth the money. You use these for anything. And what I mean by anything is anytime you want to shut the world out or something's too loud. So these are it, the Bose QC35s. I have the full black edition. I wish they had their original looking with the black and blue. but. Now they're completely wireless with Bluetooth and it connects up to eight devices, but two simultaneously. And it's the most comfortable headset I've worn, even though it's not real leather. Their leather is pretty soft. It does take some time to... And overall, these headphones shut the world out with active noise canceling. You put these on, and they go completely silent. You can do it while you're vacuuming, while you're lawn mowing. If you're at work and it's loud as fuck at work and you just want to get shit done on your computer, that's what these are for. $350, they're a little bit high on the price, but they're well worth their money. That does it with this full video. These were the three things that, that caught my eye and think that you should get for the next person. <clears throat> get it for your aunts, get it for your uncles. That's what's happening here. All the items will be linked in the description below. Let me know down below if you like this video and also what you thought was the best thing so far this year in terms of tech. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe for future content. Follow me on all these social media links. Definitely posting there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye bye.